क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेल बी डिस्कसिंग सर्टन डिटेल्स अबाउट रिवैल्युएशन ऑफ एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज अंडर रिटायरमेंट ऑफ पार्टनर कैटेगरी So when we speak about retirement of partner, we understand that there is a gaining ratio that has to be provided to all the existing partners, or rather, the gaining ratio is earned by the existing partners whenever an existing partner retires from the firm. So, when the partner retires from the firm, he also has to go through certain revaluation of assets and liabilities, just like in the case of admission of partner. Whenever there is a retirement of partner scenario in the question, you have to go ahead and revaluate all the assets and liabilities so that even if there is profit or loss, both can be shared with the existing partners, including the retiring partner in the old profit sharing ratio. That means the existing ratio what they had, they can be used to share the profits or loss on revaluation account. Now, revaluation account can be also called as profit or loss adjustment account. It is an autonomous account which can already get closed or which will already get closed whenever the profit and loss ratio is calculated or rather the profit or loss is calculated once this process is done this account gets closed and there are certain journal entries that has to be passed now what are those journal entries how to get this evaluation done how to get the resolutions for revaluation of assets and liabilities is something that we'll be studying about so what we'll be doing is that we'll be understanding revaluation account first there is a basic simple thing that you need to understand just like the way you have understood it in admission of partner that's the same thing that you have to understand here as well once that has been done that means increase in assets decrease in assets increase in the value of liability decrease in the value of liability everything has to be considered and according to that you have to prepare a revaluation account once that process is completed you go ahead with the formation of profit and loss here hence whenever the profit or loss is supposed to be judged or gauged here after that that will be distributed among the existing partners including the retiring partner in the profit sharing ratio in the existing profit sharing ratio and once that has been done the account gets closed and the transfer of profit and loss is done to the capital account hence after this we can go ahead with the formation of reserves and etc but that is a different category altogether so we'll be understanding that in the next video but right now we'll understand this revaluation account formation or rather usage of these revaluation account using a specific account or accounting journal entries now let's go through an illustration where you'll understand it better now what we'll be doing is that i'll be jotting down certain illustration here rather one specific problem related to this and then you can go ahead and figure out how to prepare the journal entries it's a basic journal entry that i've already learned in the previous chapter that means admission of partner we'll be using the same concept and logic to get ahead with this revaluation account so let's get it done now as you can see we have mentioned down certain journal entries here those journal entries that has been jotted down here are only in relation to the profit and loss that is earned on revaluation account we won't be understanding what all journal entries has to be passed whenever an asset liability or liability increases so the asset value increases or the liability value increases or decreases vice versa because we understand whenever asset value increases asset account is debited and revaluation account is credited Similarly, if the asset value goes down, revaluation account is debited and asset account is credited here and the same thing happens with the liability as well. So that is the same structure that we'll be following here. What we'll be understanding is how the profit and loss is supposed to be calculated via using the journal entries. So if there is profit here, revaluation account will be debited and partner's capital account will be credited because that is the profit and it has to be moved to partner's capital. That means partner's capital is increasing. So partner's capital being on the credit credit side credit side has to be shown on the higher version or rather we can say on the higher side hence partners capital is credited and according revaluation account is debited here now in the loss scenario this entry will be reversed that means partners capital will be debited and revaluation account will be credited so these are the two basic journal entries that you have to keep in mind whenever you have to pass a revaluation account entry under retirement system now what we'll be doing is that we'll be understanding the whole process of revaluation account formation again via an illustration so let's get ahead with an illustration and figure out how to get it done 
Now, in this illustration that we have mentioned here is that A, B and C are partners who share profit and losses equally. I, although this hasn't been mentioned in the question, we have assumed it. That means 1 is to 1 is to 1 is the ratio that has been derived. Now, apart from that, the question also states that there is a revaluation profit of 30,000. It also states that on A's retirement, 10,000 is supposed to be paid to A by B and C equally. So we have to pass the journal entry here as to what will be the journal entry whenever A retires. Now, the amount that is supposed to be paid is paid off equally by these two people. So if we can see the entry that has been passed, it says that B's capital has been debited by 5,000, C's capital account has been debited by 5,000 and A's capital has been credited with 10,000 here. So whatever balance is left out of that part will be now shared with B and C equally. That means 20,000 is left. So 20,000 will be further divided between B and C equally. So the journality that has to be passed in this situation is first, this kind of profit is to be shared by A and this has to be borne by B and C. That means 10,000 has to be given from B's and C's capital. So that has been provided to them and additionally, the revaluation profit will be now shared with B and C here. So the balance 20,000 will be shared with B and C. So let's figure out what that entry will be. So this is what has been done here. That means balance 20,000 has been divided equally between B and C. Now, this is the journal entry that will be passing in this situation. Assume that if there is a situation whereby existing partners share the profit and losses in a specified ratio, then that ratio has to be applied here while distributing profit and losses out of revaluation account. Now, what we'll be doing is that once you have understood this thing, we'll go through one specific illustration again and understand how it has been solved. This was a basic illustration to give you an idea about how the revaluation entry is supposed to be passed. Now we'll be doing a full-fledged sum so that you understand how this revaluation account is prepared. It will be a basic sum for your reference, but it will be on a full-fledged basis so that you understand revaluation account entries and that will also help you to brush up your revaluation account entries as well. So once that is done, we can go ahead and prepare a revaluation account, get things done, find out the profit and divide it between existing partners. So let's figure out that illustration. Now in this illustration, we have mentioned certain details for you. A and B shared profit and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 1. There is a balance sheet that has been mentioned here. Trade payables has been mentioned as 12,000. Bank overdraft has been mentioned as 15,000. A and B capital has been mentioned as 15,000 and 10,000 respectively. Cash has been mentioned as 1,000. Trade receivables as 25,000. Inventory as 22,000. And plant as 4,000. Now, C was also an existing partner of the firm who was admitted last year. Now, with this resolution, they gave him one third or one fourth of the share here for your reference. And after his admission, it was mentioned that they will share profit and losses in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1. That means equal ratio was divided there. So, when the retirement scenario comes in this question here, which will be completed in the next sheet, then you will understand what exactly is the situation. Now in this question, there are further adjustments also. C's capital has been mentioned as 10,000 here. On a certain date, B retired and while that was happening, they revalued the assets and liabilities as mentioned below. Plants and machinery was reduced by 10%. Inventory was taken at a valuation of 24,940 and a provision for doubtful debt was created at 500. Now, what we need to do is that we need to pass only revaluation entries and rather prepare a revaluation account itself. So, let's just pass with the revaluation entries and figure out what needs to be done here. Now, the first thing that we have created here is creation of revaluation journal entry. Now, the first revaluation adjustment was mentioned as plant and machinery has been going down by 10%. That means on 4,000, 10% will give you 400. That much amount is the difference that will go down. So that has been mentioned. So asset value is going down. So asset will be credited here. Again, there was a mentioning thing where it mentioned that the provision of doubtful debts has been created, which is by 500. Again, the liability is increasing. So that will be again credited. So both these items are credited and the valuation account is debited here. Now, the second entry refers to the inventory value, which is going up by 2940. Now, 
24,940 was the revised value that means it has gone up as per the previous revaluation which has been for inventory by 2,940. The same thing has gone up and hence revaluation account will be credited here with the same asset account being debited so that entry has been passed. Now with these two entries we understand that the revaluation process has been completed. Now just for your reference let's prepare a revaluation account and post these journal entries there and figure out what is the profit and loss here. Now that we have figured or analyzed the profit on this revaluation account as we have posted these journal entries here, the profit here on revaluation is 2040. Now this profit will be shared by all these partners equally. So the journal entry has to be passed here according to that. So 2040 will be shared by all these partners that is A, B and C in the equal ratio because that is the ratio after C was admitted and B got retired. So the final entry that you have to pass here on profit of revaluation is revaluation account debit to A's capital to B's capital and to C's capital which will be credited here accordingly. So this is how you pass the revaluation entry after forming the revaluation account. Now after you practice a lot of sums you'll be able to understand which revaluation entry will be passed and where this account will be either credited or debited in revaluation account. So once you have a nag of it you'll be able to understand the revaluation account in more detail. So I hope this video gave you a lot of clarity about revaluation account preparation and sharing of profit and losses through partners capital in the case of retirement of any partner. So thank you for watching this video stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.